Sonic's wipe a freak out. Four teams left. It's gonna be MCG, Sonic's Meta, and Team Liquid. M MCG had to back up off this fight for a bit because Meta crashed in. Meta has a ton of kills already, by the way. So does MCG. So both of these teams Ooh. having a fantastic round. But here comes Sonic's Mime. It's prime time. He is dialed in. Meta's falling apart at the hands of both MCG and the Sonics. You can see there, it's just sparking left, trying to work his way through them. He's getting some help from Mime, but ooh, Link 2 is fired up as well. Gets the knock there onto Mime. Wreck now within the blue, trying to wrap around and get a kill. This is just, I mean, <laughs> not a whole lot these guys can do. They're trying to find each other, but I don't think anyone will ever get out of here alive. Somehow EP is still alive as well. Keep that in mind. We'll see now, Wreck now does find one more. Somehow he's not done yet. Maybe it's the glasses from yesterday. The alien glasses have been put on, and Ragnar doing everything he possibly can to stay alive through this. The flush comes through, Ragnar able to find it. 12 kills for Meta as they keep climbing up the leaderboards and he finds the last as well. Link Do Summer both taken down 13 now for Meta Gaming. We knew they were gonna be coming out of that bottom 16, guns placing, and they sure are impressive. Nothing more will happen a bit, Ragnar mollies himself, says no, <laughs> you shall not have me, and somehow, Somehow Liquid has made it into top two. Let's see Evie. One versus three. Nate, half damage done. Shoots on over, fights the first one. Mine falls down. Still two left alive. Mm, Ibby trying to get the impossible done here. He's so weak. Stuns are gonna come up over the hill now for win. That might be the goal for him and Tiggleton. Tiggleton's ready and he's gonna be there. The one to clean it up is Tig and the Sonics are gonna come through and take game number one on the day. A nice follow through after their win in San Martin. They push out, they third party a bunch of teams from afar. Some fantastic shooting with those minis and they are gonna be the ones to take home the first game here. Week four of PGIS. And that's the kind of Sonics we like to see. Sonics playing control. They weren't as much in the center on the end of it as, as sometimes we see them be, but they played it then out from the edge. They played it incredibly well all the way forward. They only lost one player in the whole city fight. And, um, and they managed to make it out, take control of the hillside, play it just really, really calm and under control throughout the majority of it. That's the Sonics like to see. And I mean, here they get eight kills. They had just 13 on the entire day yesterday. So what a great turnaround to start off day number two of the weekly finals. Yeah, this is a team I don't feel like you can keep down for very long. The potential just so high uh, with these guys. They're very smart. They're very talented fraggers. You can see there, they're getting it done very nicely. Got to give a lot of credit to MCG and Meta having just incredible rounds. I mean, Ragnar there at the end, finishing off MCG by himself. Just incredible play from him. 13 kills, I think, for Meta at the end of all yeah. of that. That is, that is a way to start the day. They get into the weekly finals, finally. And it was, and it was by the, you know, the hair on their chin, Toby. It was the very last game that they were able to do it. Very, very impressive game to start things off. So much to break down and none other, of course, than the desk should be the ones to do that. So let's hop on over and see what the desk has to say after that game there. By the hair on their chinny chin chin, the big bad wolf over here blowing down the doors. We've got Sonics getting themselves the victory here off the back of a great spot in San Martin and they run with it. Joining me as Avenger Amporo here to talk about this game and Sonics getting themselves the victory off the back of this poro gotta feel good oh yeah uh, it, it feels fantastic i mean you know i talked a little bit about genji and liquid uh early in the day I, I definitely wanted to throw sonics into that boat as well this is a team that we yeah. expected to do well in this arguably weaker lobby for a weekly finals and now we're finally seeing sonic start to show up uh, eight kills playing out of san martin that you take that every time yeah martin folks yeah, for sure. Like they were able to play out in a rough situation, especially being able to play out of cities. Like this it is some of the hardest things to do. You have so much pressure in your back. You have to worry about your 360 all the time, and they were able to do so very well. Uh, on top of that, this whole area in general is super hard to kind of get up to because you want to make sure that you're the last team to get into the circle to play uphill, and doing so is just super rough. Taking a look at Team Liquid breaching and they got burnt to a crisp here by Tiamba as things continue on. But Sonics, we were mentioning Poro whilst this game was going on. I feel like this is one of the better locations in San Martin. Eventually, a lot of those circles 
do shift north of San Martin and being able to kind of take that plateau uh, just north of their position really helps them out a lot to be able to flex out once some of the other teams have dispatched each other. Absolutely, got to give credit where credit's due. You called it from the from the very first. The rotation by Sonics to that north side, as you said, it, you know, you you are typically used to seeing circles like this kind of shift north. This one shifted a little bit further south, which definitely made things, I guess, easier <laughs> for Sonics. But that being said, the position that they did took kind of was a was a playing for late game position but god you got to give credit to the boy Ragnaldinho he has been oh my god. the statistically lowest performing player on his squad but he stepped up in a big way there at the end and collected a few more crucial points for the boys if you guys have any comments or questions go ahead and message me directly or comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe and also check out my facebook page bye